to be reviewed. This comes as the public broadcaster is going through those financial uh, difficulties that have led to the planned retrenchments, and there are fears uh, that it may not be pa able to pay those salaries. Vitz University's Professor Tawana Kupe says that the core of the public broadcaster's problems is a broad mandate that is not properly funded. The SABC's main source of revenue is advertising, followed by TV license fees and minimal government allocation. Revenue has not been forthcoming on the back of the weak economy, advertising cuts by clients, competition for advertising revenue and low TV license revenue collection. At the governance challenges to the mix and the public broadcaster is reeling. Many say the underlying problem, however, is the underfunding and the growing mandate since 1994. COPE Member of Parliament, Willy Madisha, says the SABC should be publicly funded to enable it to carry out its public mandate. At the moment, what we as Parliament give them is minimal. I say this because uh, my colleagues here uh, uh, will remember what was emphasized by the former chairperson, um, Comrade Humphrey, uh, 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 okay? Uh, he was seated on that chair before your chairperson came. Uh, he even said that we're giving SABC this minimal amount. And he said, and we supported it, that uh, we must go to the Treasury and say that that must be doubled so that uh, they then can be able to survive. Professor Cooper says the SABC's current funding model is proving not to work. He says the SABC should be given sufficient public funding to enable it to carry its mandate. And in return, the SABC should be editorially independent, providing news and analysis that people believe in, as well as balanced programming and entertainment. Cooper says a model where the public broadcaster largely gets revenue from advertising risks doing so at the expense of public-oriented programming for a developing country. Yeah, I'm, not, I'm not saying that issues of governance, mismanagement, corruption, or even a bloated workforce are not. But compared to the underfunding of the SABC, those are minor problems that can... Not minor problems, those are problems that can easily be resolved. But if you properly funded the SABC, the mandate then is sustainable. Right now the mandate is not sustainable. It forces the SABC to try and compete with commercial broadcasters who have a more foca um, a narrower mandate. That is wrong. It's not even fair competition. You don't do things like that. The SABC, remember, is owned by the public. The other broadcasters are owned by private shareholders who want to make a profit. The SABC is the public good. So, so clearly I think that the, if there is a bloated workforce, that cannot be addressed in isolation to addressing the funding model. Cooper says with the correct funding model, the right programming, and the use of new technology, SABC could be a premium broadcaster able to uplift many South Africans. Gloria Safakomusi, SABC News, Johannesburg.